we'll move swiftly on. Um, question six is the issue of servicing. Uh, policy Trans 20 in the current UDP requires servicing for new developments to occur off the highway. How can this be improved to ensure there is no loss of highway safety or reduction in the highway space that currently supports other highway functions and improves the management of the public realm? So any points people have in relation to that or servicing in general? Thanks. Yeah, John Canty, Savile, Bird and Axon. Um, just a comment in relation to servicing being um, off the highway. Um, obviously, if um, servicing is required off the highway, that generally me means that um, a crossover will be required over the footway. Um, so I think it needs to be um, balanced of the pros and cons for s certain smaller developments where servicing might be very low and the development is generally car-free. Um, quite often you can have servicing via um, a, a loading lay-by and you can have that designed at, so it's uh, level with the footway. So the majority of the time um, that space is used for pedestrians and I think sometimes that approach is better than having an off-street off, um, um, servicing area which would cross over the footway and take up valuable space in the development. Thank you. Um, Simon Burke at Knightsbridge Association um, in the Brompton Road Knightsbridge area um, we have this battle constantly I think um, uh, there needs to be enough space within the developments um, for vehicles to actually go in and turn around um, or turntables or something um, because otherwise just driving in is sort of means nothing um, I think the uh, inclusion of service agreements at the time of planning is very important in terms of managing the, uh, the, the consequential impact of the building once it's up and running. Uh, and finally, as part of that, I think um, uh, it may be linked to sort of low emission strategies, but also in terms of um, the types of vehicle that will service large buildings, that those are low emission vehicles. Pascal Bates, Victoria Interchange Group. Could I invite you, when considering this issue, to look at what was said at the retail um, session yeah. about a week ago? Um, one of the things that came out of that, from everyone's viewpoint, although people had different views on different things, was the need to tailor things to what you were doing. And the difficulty under the current planning law of specifying other than by planning class what sort of business is going to be in a particular place. If you have, uh, say, a specification for retail, it makes a big difference whether it's a food business that's going to be there requiring several deliveries of large volumes of fresh food each day, or whether it's going to be, say, an antique dealer requiring one van for one hour once a week. Um, this is something that planning policy just isn't grappling with at the moment. I don't say that by way of criticism of the council because I appreciate that planning law makes developing a sensible planning policy dif difficult. Mm. But in terms of off-street servicing, if a service vehicle is parked at the highway and is going to be there for long periods unloading high volumes, you typically get what you find outside most branches of uh, fast food restaurants and things like that, which is uh, the pavement quite severely impaired for passing up and down by very significant volumes of trolleys passing the wrong way uh, at right angles to the main pedestrian flow. And that's a much more significant impairment for pedestrians than having a single turning in of a lorry when it goes into the uh, servicing area and even if necessary a backing out if there's not sufficient space for turning or a turning circle within the development. Okay, th thanks for your comment. I mean, I'd just like to quickly reiterate, although these are all separate workshops, we're certainly not considering anything in isolation, so if it's discussed at a previous workshop, it will still, if it's relevant, it will still take into account. D um, David Hartstead, Davies Gleave. Um, just to agree with a lot of the points that Pascal has raised and definitely see the benefit in um, providing off-street servicing yards or basements where they can be provided. And again, with the, uh, the entering and leaving in a forward gear, um, definitely something that should be um, a key aim of all developments when being constructed. But also... Again, to reiterate, the differing characteristics you have according to building use, but a lot of the time 
when planning applications are submitted, that kind of detail isn't known. But um, so it is quite difficult to forecast um, what activity would be like. But also to um, really urge the council to have a bit more of an open mind to restricting deliveries to certain vehicle classes where reasonable.